Hi you guys, welcome back to Danielle Klee SLP. My name is Danielle and today I wanna to take some time to talk about my own story and my journey as a myofunctional therapy patient and what really led me to the field of speech language pathology. So I like to tell little kiddos that I see that many of them remind me of me and that's why I went into this field um, because I was a thumb sucker and I sucked my thumb until I was about three and a half years old I had a mouth that looked fondly like this model, a severe overbite, um, after which I had headgear and multiple rounds of orthodontics to remediate. Um, I also later developed the dentition of someone with a myofunctional disorder or a tongue thrust. I had an anterior open bite so much of my life. I was at the dentist or the orthodontist trying to figure out what was happening. Um, and this went undiagnosed for years. So you'll see here that this is a quintessential tongue thrusting mouth. So there's, even when the back molars are together, there's no way to get closure of the front teeth. And that's because 500 to 1,000 times a day, I was thrusting my tongue forward. And like I tell my patients over and over again, the tongue is even stronger than braces and cells respond to stimuli and structures and physiology change and you could see that in my teeth. Now the unfortunate thing was that I ended up struggling with severe temporomandibular joint dysfunction, also known as TMD, some people know it as TMJ, TMD is the correct term, um, and had horrific severe pain in my head, my neck, my shoulders, my upper back, my jaw, my face by the time that I was in middle school and early high school. Um, I had headaches every single day of my life. I had joint pain every single day of my life and it was most severe in my jaw and in my head. Um, I was diagnosed with TMD and told just to keep trying, you know, to, to kind of see what worked. I tried biofeedback. I saw a variety of different um, manipulative body working professionals you know I received osteopathic manipulation I received chiropractic I received massage I did all kinds of acupuncture even all kinds of different therapies to reduce the pain but nothing ever changed it now, I was diagnosed with celiac disease um, when I was a sophomore in high school which significantly reduced inflammation all over my body but you know, when my hip and my knee pain and other bodily pain went away, the headaches were still there. And while the severity decreased, they were still persistent um, and did not go away. Throughout college, um, a lot of my life was spent taking naps, resting, taking tons of ibuprofen to just alleviate the pain. And I never found anyone that could give me any answers. I was always someone that was so committed to doing the homework of any therapist you know, that could help me. I was like, I'll do anything. I'll eliminate anything from my diet. I'll change anything in my lifestyle. What do I need to do? Um, it wasn't until uh, shortly after college that I was down another rabbit hole of research regarding TMD and orofacial pain that I met a dentist um, who worked with patients with TMD and he immediately looked in my mouth and said, you have a tongue thrust. And I told him, no, there's, there's no way. I actually, I left this out. When I was 15, I was diagnosed with a tongue thrust and did a couple months of myofunctional therapy, but got braces, put back on, and unbeknownst to myself, the disorder reappeared. Um, just great intentions, I think, of the clinician, but really wasn't provided any education, which is why I have this YouTube channel and why I do the work that I do. So I'm sitting in this dentist chair going, we fixed that, I don't have that, there's no way. And he said, no, you definitely do. Um, and I ended up seeing a myofunctional therapist out of exhaustion, we were in LA and I thought, whatever, we'll just do it, we'll get it over with, I'll mark this off my list. And I sat in her chair, and she proceeded to show me, I told her what my pain symptoms were, and she showed me video after video after video after video of patients she'd had sitting in her chair diagnosed with the same thing as me with the exact same pain. And my mom was with me. I broke down sobbing and weeping. Um, my mom broke down crying too. I had never in my life met anyone who knew what I was talking about. I was just always this chronic pain patient. And this therapist sat and with so much compassion explained to me that I had been using all of the wrong muscles in my mouth um, and within my face to swallow and to eat and that myofunctional therapy would target 
the repatterning of these muscles. And interestingly, earlier that day, they had hooked electrodes up to my face and actually produced data to show that like none of the you know neurons in my jaw and my face were firing right, which when you're in chronic pain, you know, it kind of feels like adding insult to injury. Like, thank you, thank you for telling me something's wrong. But in my gut, the scientist in me loved that I had the data to show that. Um, and I started therapy that day and never looked back. I was such a committed and diligent patient and I started noticing an alleviation of my symptoms within the first week of therapy. By a month in, it was a 40% reduction of symptoms. Um, all the way to about two months in, it was roughly 70 to 80% reduction of symptoms. That being said, TMD is still something that impacts my life. Orofacial myofunctional therapy wasn't a magical wand that made everything disappear, but it had a profound impact on my quality of life and my ability to manage um, my TMD. I went from having headaches every single solitary day of my life to having, you know, one, one once a month. Um, and it's usually hormonally correlated. It didn't seem to be correlated with, um, you know, the same pain patterns as I'd had before. So I feel so much gratitude every day that um, this was a part of my path. And I'm so passionate about working with patients across the lifespan. I love working with adults who were in this, a similar place as my own and giving them hope and strategies and tools to manage pain if they are someone that falls into the category, you know, similar categories that I did. But most of all, I love working with children. I know that my parents are deeply loving, supportive people who, you know, would have given anything to support me and find answers to the issues that I was dealing with and we just weren't educated. And so, uh, you know, my heart is to eradicate this disorder um, in young children and to provide you know, thorough education to every family that I meet so that they can support really good oral facial development in their children. And if their kiddo does have an oral habit or they do present with a tongue thrust, to identify it and deal with it early um, to support healthy facial and airway growth for the years to come. So again, thanks so much for visiting my channel. If you have questions, you can feel free to leave them below. Um, I also have a website that you can visit. It's daniellekleeslp.com. And I have an Instagram as well, daniellekleeslp. If you want some snippets of information, strategies, tools, updates on interesting research, um, I'd love to connect with you there as well. Thanks again, and I wish you the very best wherever your health journey finds you.